Awesome, we're here with the winner, Dante Leon. Dante, unbelievably I heard this is the first time you two have met despite being, you know, ranked three and four and being about. Was it what you expected? How, how did the match go for you? Uh, like I said in a, in a couple interviews, it, it's really hard to gauge how Taz is going to fight. He's a guy who's kind of like me. I know he favors the guard position and his leg locks, but it's really hard to gauge what he's going to do exactly as far as uh, his game plan. He might come out, he might wrestle, he might go straight to guard. He might kind of intermingle between the two, so it was really hard to gauge what he was going to do. Uh, first, you know, three to five minutes was pretty slow, kind of feeling out. I know he was throwing a lot of shit at me, and then uh, near the end, I just kind of got a good groove and, and put some pressure on him. Yeah, in terms of the match, it looked like uh, obviously Oliver was looking a lot for the leg entries and that sort of thing. You, did, you didn't look afraid to mix it up there. Was, was the plan to avoid leg locks, go for your back takes and stuff, or were you willing to play the leg game if, if needs be? I'm pretty confident in my leg defense. I'm pretty confident in my offense in the legs. I didn't attack the legs as well as I would have liked. I would have liked to exchange leg locks a little bit more with him. But uh, some things happened in the match that just didn't allow me to get to certain parts of my game. But uh, all in all, the pressure, the passing, the speed, the pace was all there. And I was able to rely on that like I always am and get the W. One thing I was really impressed with, whenever it looks like you might be getting, even beginning in a situation whether someone's looking for a back take or, or a leg lock, you're just out of there. You're, you're defending before you even need to defend, if that makes sense. Is that something you, you know you really work on, just, just shutting people down? Obviously, you've got such world-class guys in your gym at home. So, Well, uh, playing the shutdown game is something that's going to do dividends for me in the future, especially with ADCC and these different bracketed style tournaments. But it's also good to not allow any points on the judges' card. In my eyes, I don't think he really had any points for submissions. He, would, he captured my knee line one time. Without a submission, he didn't have any kind of leg entanglement or anything like that. I had uh, multiple submission attacks and a few passes, as well as some sweeps and reversals. When he swept me, I was able to just reverse him right away. So kind of just washes that off the board. So being able to defend things before they get too far is something that's kind of I practice to not give up points on the board because predominantly I'm a tournament player. I'm a, I'm a guy who wants to win ADCC gold, who wants to win more IBJJF world titles. And that's kind of like the base of my game. So in terms of ADCC, obviously, you know, you're going to be on the list. Everyone's really excited. It can be a stat bracket. How are you feeling going into that? What, what sort of more preparation have you got? Have you got many more tournaments to fit in? When do you start winding up or winding down for that time, really? Everything's just about ADCC. That's the one that matters. That's, that's just the one. Um, that cements you as a legend of the sport, as one of the greatest of all time if you can be an ADCC champion, especially in today's day and age with the, with the pressure that's, uh, not just the pressure, but the, 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 the sustenance of ADCC, just how much, how much bigger, how much better, how much more well known it is. It's not the 90s anymore, it's not the early 2000s where a wrestler can run in and kind of win the division. Um, it's one that it is truly the best submission grappler wins the ADCC tournament. So that's where legends are made, that's where legends are born, that's where legends go to defend their crown. And that's my goal. Since 2019 ended when I got fourth place, my goal was to be 2021 ADCC world champion. Unfortunately, COVID pushed that back a year, so it just gives me a year to be even more prepared. Fantastic. What's next for you competition was? Got anything coming up? We'll see, man. Time to heal up, time to rest up. Um, couple tournaments on the horizon but I, I gotta kind of listen to my body some things happened in the match and I gotta kind of listen to my body a little bit and see what happens see where I'm gonna go from here um, got a few dings and, and, and shit like that going on so uh, give myself a couple days listen to myself get home get around the right people have a little sit down and see what we're gonna do fantastic thanks for your time thank you